Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the DK66. This is a mechanical keyboard that claims to be really compact, in fact up to 60% smaller than many of the other full-size keyboards. It sells for around 45 bucks, and other unique features include the fact that it's actually waterproof IPX6 rated, so if you accidentally splash water or coffee on top of it, it will still survive. The keys themselves are removable, just like other mechanical keyboards, but the ones provided have been nano-coded, so they are resistant to oil and fingerprints, which is pretty cool. And also, these keys are really customizable. There is an optional software that you can use for Windows that allows you to change the color for every single key individually using the software. It comes in switch options of brown, red, and blue, and even has a built-in microphone, which can detect the sound around you to automatically visualize your, uh, depending on how loud the environment that you're in is. So it kind of reacts to the beat of music. So again, a ton of different lighting patterns and effects to play around with. So mechanical keyboards these days have been just getting cheaper and cheaper. We have a keycap remover if you want to switch out the caps for a different design. Here is the USB Type-C cable here, which has an L-shaped connector. It's crafted out of aluminum, and we've got some additional replacement keycaps if you want to swap them out, and even two replacement switches uh, in case these break, although mechanical keyboards are known for being more sturdy and long-lasting than membrane-style keyboards, so this should last you for years and years down the road. Now, the frame of the DK66 is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, so it does feel relatively light. There's kind of a chamfered edge. On the back we have access to the USB Type-C port, and then on the base we have the soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around. However, you don't get any elevated feet that props it up further at a tilted angle, so this is as far up as it gets, but there already is a slant that goes upwards, which makes for a pretty ergonomic typing experience. One of the more interesting choices here is that the spacebar has been divided into two parts, uh, which makes it a little easier to control with your left and right thumbs, which is kind of clever and different from other keyboards that I've seen. Here we have a Z77 full-size keyboard, and here we have the aforementioned DK66 on top, so you can see just how much smaller it is by contrast. Even the Z88 Compact Edition, which I consider to be one of the smallest keyboards that I've reviewed thus far, is larger by contrast compared to the DK66. The crown key here is the function button, which you can use to turn the keyboard on, control the lighting effects, and also use to connect to Bluetooth. By the way, you can connect up to three different Bluetooth devices at the same time. You can pair it using one, two, or three, and in the future you can simply tap on these keys to quickly switch between your three, say, phones or computers. Now, by default, it starts off in this green color, and I can tap again on the function key and the up arrow to make it brighter. Right now, this seems to be the maximum brightness. I can also tap on the arrow down key to make it dimmer. Now the escape key, as you can see here, also flashes an RGB color, which is kind of neat. Now I can also tap on these two bracket keys, basically to switch between the different modes. So tapping on the top bracket key here once will turn you to a re reactive mode, which will glow slightly whenever you're typing. Tapping once again will turn us into another reactive mode, but this one will send a different color throughout the entire row. Immediately we can see that the colors here are true RGB because it doesn't produce the same color every single time. I can tap on this repeatedly and it will change different colors. Again, you have a true RGB bulb under each of these keys that can customize the color accordingly. Now I can tap on it once again. This is another ripple mode, which will send the signal outwards as you are typing. It makes for a pretty dazzling effect. And I can tap on it once again, and it will go into this sound mode, which is now using the microphones basically to detect sound, and it's acting as a equalizer, as you can see there. Um, and depending on how loud it is, it will kind of ripple through. So there is that built-in microphone, which does indeed work. Now tapping once again, we'll go back to the reactive mode. Now tapping on the other bracket key over here goes through the other set of built-in preset animations, and this one here is just a default red color uh, with the function key highlighted as an RGB, as you can see there. I can tap on it once again to go into a transitioning mode where it gently goes through oscillates all of the colors of the rainbow. Now, by the way, I can pause it on a certain color if I wanted to, again, tapping on the function key, and then the top key here, which is acting as a pause button. So for example, if I tap on it once here, it will stay on blue, tap on this button again, and it will resume. So I can pause it onto any color that I particularly like. 
Now here we can also tap on the function left and right keys to change the speed of the animations. So tapping on it to the right makes it change a lot more swiftly. Tapping on it on the left makes it a lot slower in terms of its animation. So you can change the speed and also pause it at a certain color. Tapping on it once more goes back to green. Once more kind of goes back into this changing color effect. Once more goes into an upwards rainbow effect, as you can see there. Also very mesmerizing and then once more goes back to the red. So the red seems to be a default color along with the green. Finally, you have also a set of gaming specific colors, which you can tap on the function and then the one, two, three keys acting under the W, E, and R. So if I tap on the three key, for example, this will now light up only a portion of the keyboard, uh, which uh, corresponds to certain keys may be useful for a game. Um, so you can customize these and you can save new presets under one, two, and three using the software companion app on your computer. What's cool is if I tap on function, it kind of lights up quickly to remind us that right now we are in the third function lighting mode. So here I have a paired smartphone. I can begin typing away and of course it works as expected. There is very little lag or latency as we're pressing down. It basically instantly pops up on the phone thanks to the use of the latest Bluetooth 5.0 chip if your phone is also equipped with Bluetooth 5.0. So there's very minimal delay. Everything actually works really well. Again, because of how portable this keyboard is, it actually makes for a great travel companion. Just tucking it with a phone, you can definitely improve on your productivity because it's going to be faster when it comes to typing out essays and also emails and pecking along maybe on your phone's keyboard. So if you are trying to get some work done, it makes for a nice companion to an iPad, to a smartphone, anything where you're planning on doing some more writing on. And again, everything is just working as expected as a Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Here's a quick sound test. The overall experience, again, it's relatively quiet, but at the same time, it's really tactile and satisfying whenever you're pressing down, just because the switches are doing a lot of the work for you. You don't really need to press that hard, but at the same time, you get that tactile sensation that's um, a bit more responsive feeling under your fingertips than, say, a membrane keyboard. The keycaps are still a regular size, and as a result, it's still really comfortable. You can learn the layout within no time at all and achieve a fast and accurate typing experience. Now, some things to keep in mind, though, is because it is shrunken down in terms of the layout, uh, in terms of accessing some of the commands, like the media keys for muting and also making the volume louder and uh, more quiet, this is actually under the F, G, and H buttons, as opposed to on the very top. So the keys are serving double duty as far as the functions are concerned because of this small frame. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the DK66 wireless Bluetooth mechanical keyboard. Again, I really can't believe that this is only $40. It packs the latest Bluetooth 5.0 standard. There's a wealth of different lighting patterns and even a built-in microphone. Everything is customizable if you want to dive even deeper using the companion app. And again, I can't believe that it's such a cheap model either. Again, for under $40, it's an absolute steal if you're looking for a portable Bluetooth mechanical keyboard with all the features and customization that you would want in a really small package. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the DK66.